Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 27th, 2019. So, hey, everyone, a little bit frustrated this morning. The um, I, I spent um, uh, spent about 45 minutes putting together a morning blog and then had a computer issue that wiped out the entire morning blog so there's probably not going to be a morning blog this morning but i will get the video out and i do apologize for that um, you know it's one of those things that happens from time to time technology is wonderful as long as it works so as we take a look at the market today i'm looking at when I look at the market indexes, I feel like I'm looking through a very dirty window. And let me explain that for just a second. The picture that I'm seeing when I look at these indexes is um, very murky. Um, direction is very difficult to interpret at all in these markets. So first off, yesterday we ended up with, on the diamonds, uh, or the Dow anyway, we had a bit of a pop and drop pattern. So we gapped up in the morning, sold off, and then at the end of the day we caught just a little tiny bit of a rally to improve things uh, just slightly, uh, but not really um, change any direction of the market. This morning, uh, as, as I speak right now, the futures are trying to put on a brave face and, and climb back up we've been down 70 plus points we are currently now down 46 points as I record this so we're looking at a, just a little bit of pressure on the market so here's what I see in this chart first off we have to recognize the fact that we are in a current downtrend current downtrend um, is specified you know lower highs and lower lows so we have this technical downtrend in the diamonds chart and as we rally back up here we would look for some kind of confidence in a price move to get us a rally here and and honestly if we had a nice bullish candle here please keep in mind this is nothing more than a potential wedge pattern you can see that nice little wedge that we're forming in the chart unfortunately yesterday we left behind this candle pattern that's very indecisive um, we have a, an indecisive pattern underneath a lower high and underneath significant price resistance in the chart so really murky window that we're trying to see through to try and determine direction of the market and let me show you that really doesn't change as we look at some of the other indexes let's take a look at the spy SPY, now SPY is technically in a better position here than the diamonds. And the reason that is, is because we were able to break through and break above um, some support in the chart. So we made this higher high, breaking through this level right in here. Unfortunately, yesterday, as we tried to rally back up here, we left behind this indecisive candle. That indecisive candle puts us in a situation where we're looking at these resistance levels above and we're just getting that complication here. We're kind of hovering in between uh, kind of a minor level of support really and, and um, a relatively strong resistance above as the price action works itself out. So kind of a confusing point here on the SPY, not really providing any clarity on direction and a little bit of concern. Now, right now, um, the um, S&P 500 futures are suggesting a slightly lower open as well. So if those were to push down, if we get a push lower that breaks that low of yesterday, we could be in real trouble here on the market. And because that would place that failure pattern um, in the chart that would suggest um, new lows. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Hopefully that doesn't occur. Hopefully those bulls will step up and defend. But we, I would sure like to see a little clarity come into these charts. Let's take a look um, at the Qs. Now the Qs 
definitely has clarity. Um, we have a very, very strong trend here in the queues, and the queues has been making consecutive higher lows and lower uh, and higher highs. There you go. And we ran up here and we tested this price resistance level and backed away from it hard on Friday. As you can, we had a hard sell off on Friday, backed away strongly from that level. But notice that that pullback in here is pulled right back into a price support. And so far, we're holding on to support and trend. So the Qs being the strongest of the indexes looking pretty darn good. However, yesterday, once again, we leave behind this um, spinning top doji up here that leaves us a little bit of uncertainty, um, even in the NASDAQ. A little rest in here would be perfectly acceptable if we rested a couple of days in here and that gives us that opportunity to move on higher. Awesome. But um, with the other indexes showing some uncertainty and futures kind of pointing to a lower open, that doesn't help us out a whole lot here um, on that direction. It just says that the NASDAQ is holding up stronger than the other indexes. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM um, is really in a bearish situation where we have not only lower highs, but we've made consecutively lower lows in that move. So our downtrend is very well defined here. And even as we tried to rally yesterday, leaving that indecisive candle there, certainly could suggest a little bit lower move um, in the chart as possible. And if we were to get that little bearish candle pulling back uh, today, then we could really see some trouble here in IWM. So keep an eye on that. Now the positive sign here on IWM is that it did break back above this level of support. So if we push down and, and find some buyers in here, it's possible we could bounce off of that. So watch that right in there. We've got a little bit of confusion here in this chart. Now I would like to say the VIX adds some clarity to this situation this morning, but it certainly does not. Um, we had that indecisive day and notice that we also had fear dropping out of the market. The VIX is suggesting that fear is a little bit lighter and dropping out of the market. Um, so a little bit of confusion there as well. We're very indecisive in the market and a little fear uh, dropping out. As a matter of fact, it dropped a full 10% yesterday as if uh, no one seems to be worried at all about the market falling. Now, my question is, does that mean the bears just really have no teeth? Possibly, that could be the case. They just have no teeth or no energy desire to push the market down. Or are we looking at complacency? Uh, bullish complacency where we just don't fear the market at all and that's when the real problems can really start to begin in the market so again little bit of confusion going on there um, just as I'm speaking futures are trying to break higher at the moment trying to put that brave face on this morning so possibly things could be improving here as the morning goes on um, and we'll take a look at a couple other things that could help that or, or harm that uh, progress. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is a four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see how consistent this indicator is. We move down into this lower range. I call this the bullish reversal zone. We get down in here and we're likely to pop up. We rally up in here into what I call the bearish reversal zone and we're likely to move lower. So if we look at the current indicator right here, we're kind of in a no man's land. Um, we're up here you know, above 50%, which is great, you know, gives us plenty of room to move to the upside. But we also have to recognize that we have significant room to move to the downside as well. So not really providing any clarity here, um, just giving us that opportunity that we could move up or we do have room to move down um, in this uh, chart. And you can see how choppy we've been here of late. So not a whole lot of clarity in T2122. Let's take a look at um, 
um, what we have on our economic calendar today that maybe that could give us a little bit of help so looking at our economic calendar first thing here at 8 30 a.m this morning we have the international trade numbers coming out they're suggesting that that deficit uh, continues and may actually um, uh, uh, increase just a little bit so we'll want to watch that um this morning um for that news kind of keep an eye on these items in the calendar some of these uh can move the market around um this would be these two right here would be the most likely to move the market around today the eia petroleum status report at 10 30 um, and then keep in mind we do have a fed speaker later on today um, after the market closed uh, doubtful that that will cause any effect for the market also keep in mind tomorrow we could be just in a wait and see mode here in the market we could see light choppy price action as we wait for the gdp number that big gdp number coming on thursday so we might want to keep that in mind a little bit of choppy uh price action as we wait could be the case there so keep an eye on that um, on the earnings calendar we had uh, about 85 companies reporting earnings today um, that will report sometime during the day so we'll want to keep an eye on those earnings reports as an example um uh, Lulu is reporting earnings today. I'm not sure if it reports this morning or if it's going to report this afternoon. Let me take a real quick look and see if I can if I can find it in my list. I look this stuff over every day. Um, looks like Lulu reports after the market closed today so we'll want to um, keep an eye on this one um, as we move through the day and see what happens with Lulu let's take a look um, at a few companies that uh, a few charts that may be setting up for potential trades before I do that please do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos click that subscribe button on YouTube click that uh, thumbs up button and also make sure you click that bell icon so that you're notified when I post these videos um, every single market day uh, to the YouTube channel also please do me a favor and and um, share this video with any friends and family you know share it on Facebook share it on uh, Twitter stock twits wherever you you use as your social media outlets uh, post it over there help me to to grow this channel uh, hopefully you can see the purpose of this video is to help everyone do a better job um, with their trading I, I don't make money from these videos this is truly um, one of the ways I can help pay back uh, folks um, for all for all the you know success that I've had in my trading um, it just gives me that opportunity to help other people in kind of a passive way so if you find these useful please do feel free to share those so let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up and things we might want to take a look at first off um, I did a class last night and it will be posted later today on YouTube but someone uh, brought up the chart of Zynga take a look at Zynga really nice trending chart and looking very very good here um, overall so Zynga could have a possibility of popping through and moving higher I think I placed a price alert right here on the chart I did placed a price alert on that chart and I'm seeing a nice trending chart I'm gonna watch that one for that possibility to uh, move higher take a look at Roku guys Roku could be setting up a bear flag situation and that is that rally back to resistance point that um, we always want to watch for there's my drawings on the chart we broke the uptrend rallying back to resistance almost a bearish engulfing candle there on Roku any follow through to the downside you can see I've placed Placed an alert on that chart right here if this were to follow through to the downside this could set up a short situation here on Roku so you might want to keep an eye on that um, take a look at ACB ACB one of those cannabis stocks holding up very well moved up nicely in a trend 
pulling back to hold this little price support in here. Let's watch this one close. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this continue to consolidate sideways as it moves over toward this trend. So don't, there's no rush on this trade. If it moves sideways or pulls back into this trend, still a good setup, still a trending stock that we want to have on our list and kind of keep an eye on. Let's take a look at STZ. STZ had a really good day yesterday. This happens to be in a pattern that we trade all the time in hit run candlesticks right way options. It's called the rounded bottom breakout. Let me remove these drawings. Rounded bottom breakout is that stock holding at that 50 day moving average and notice that that 50 day and all of those shorter term averages are rounding back up. Nice bullish candle there yesterday. Um, we'll have to wait and see if there's going to be any follow through. Now clearly we still have price resistance in this chart that we need to deal with. I've placed an alert right here and you can see it triggered yesterday before the close. I'm going to watch this closely. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this continue to slide sideways a little bit, chop around in here just a little bit before this moves up. But one I definitely want to watch for a potential trade and looking pretty good here overall. So kind of keep an eye on that. Another chart I'm really interested in, and I actually picked up a trade in this, is uh, JD. JD popping up here yesterday, breaking through uh, my alert on this trade. Now I'm a little um, early on this trade. This easily could continue to bounce around in here and slide sideways over toward this trend. A little bit early possibly on this position, but a really nice potential setup and I took a trade here in that in that chart. So looking pretty good might be one to keep an eye on in um, in your list. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, make sure you click that subscribe button, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. You guys are awesome and I appreciate every single one of you that takes the time to do that. It means a lot to me. You guys honestly don't know how much that means to me when I get those comments. Thank you very much for those who do that. Everyone take care, have an awesome day. And I just want to end like I end a lot of these videos. If you're struggling as a trader, I want to encourage you not to give up, to keep working really, really hard on your trading. You know, trading is one of those tough, tough businesses that takes a while to really get a handle on and if you're struggling if you're if you're having tough times you know really double down on your work your education your uh, um, your efforts in trading because believe me um, for, for coming from an old carpenter it's worth it once you get it figured out and you're able to trade for a living full-time everyone take care of yourselves be safe be happy we'll talk to you all bright and early Thursday morning have a great one everyone